So I'd like to show you something new in Smart PLS 4. It is the Compare Models feature. Let's say I have a covariance-based causal model like this, and I'd like to see how it compares against a PLS SEM causal model. Identical factors, the only difference is the algorithm being used. What I would do is I would calculate this using the basic algorithm, just run this with the defaults, and then I would save this report. I'll save this as CBSCM, hit create. All right, that report has been created. And now I can just go back and let me save this and go back. You can see that this CBSEM report has been created. I also have one called HOC, but let me go back into this model and convert this to PLS real quick. So just hit convert, choose PLS SEM. I'll call it my PLS SEM and hit save. And now you can see it is in the PLS mode. I'll hit calculate, regular old algorithm, start. And now that I have this and I have the saved report for CBSEM, I can click on the compare option. I can select what I want to compare it to. Here's that report I just saved, CBSEM. And now it brings these two models up side by side. And I can visually inspect them to see how they differ. Of course, first I need to make sure we are comparing apples to apples. So uh, if I'm looking at the outer model, I have weights and loadings selected here. And over here, I need to choose the standardized weights and loadings. And then for inner model, I have path coefficients, which is what I want. And over here, I want path coefficients standardized. And now we can start making some comparisons. So first, let me move that so we can see it. We can see that the R squares, if I zoom in here, zoom in, zoom in, here we go. We can see the R square for decision quality and useful 0 0.063 and 0 0.110 are matched roughly in CBSEM. We can also see that the loadings here are not identical. In fact, they're consistently good in both CBSEM and PLS, but they do vary. If we look at the inner model, we can see that these paths, 242, 248, 289, 332, they're pretty close. My guess is when it comes to significance, they're pretty consistent. If we wanted to be sure, we could run a bootstrap on both of these and save those reports. Now beyond just a visual inspection, we can actually select specific details to look at. So for example, if we wanted to check discriminant validity and look at the Fornell-Larker criterion, we could do that on both sides. And we can see how these models compare in discriminant validity. It looks like in both cases we're doing just fine. Now what about something like model fit? You can see here it is listed, but the model fit for the PLS algorithm and the model fit for the CBSEM algorithm are quite different. The only things we could really compare here are the chi-square, NFI, and SRMR. So we can see that the chi-square is somewhat different. The SRMR, 0 0.052, and 0.112 are quite different, and the NFI 0.875 and 0.890 are pretty close. Since model fit isn't advised in a PLS model, this probably wasn't the best comparison. But you can see all the things you can compare across models. Let's do one more comparison. Let's look at the construct reliability and validity overview. And here we can see that the Cronbach's alphas are perfectly consistent between these two models. And the composite reliability, rho c, is fairly consistent across these two models. AVE also looks fairly consistent. That is a model comparison. I hope that was useful. I've only compared a PLS model versus a covariance-based model, but you can make all sorts of comparisons. You can do this for a measurement model. You can do this for a higher order model. You can do it for two covariance-based models. You can do it for a model that has a different dependent variable. You can do it for a model with interactions in them and one without interactions in them. You have lots of options here. It's really just meant to allow you to compare models easily.